Uh, the nuisance officer. Uh, the nuisance officer. <laughs> The Smithsonian Ant Magazine said that Chillicothe was one of the 15 best towns to visit in 2022. So I'm curious to see what it is about Chillicothe that makes this place so unique. What What is it about Chillicothe that makes people go, whoa, we got to add that to our list of 15 best towns to visit? Because I'm going to work here next day. <laughs> Are you in a department all of your own? Um, a nuisance officer. Is there anything really cool within walking distance that one might be able to see in Chillicothe? I'm always recording. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay. And as you can see, functional in the humidity. You, you want to get some in here? Oh, can I? That'd be awesome. Yeah, check this out. Hey, hey, everybody. KULT News back again with another video. Today, we are in the booming metropolis of Chillicothe, Ohio. And Chillicothe uh, has a population of about... 22,000 people. Here's a fun drinking game. Take a shot every time I mispronounce the name of this town. It's pronounced Chillicothe. And um, Chillicothe was the state capital of Ohio. From 1803 to 1810, and then uh, I believe it moved to Zanesville, and then uh, from 1812 to 1816, Chillicothe was once again the capital of Ohio. Um, so that's of interest. Um, we're gonna pop into the city offices over here, the administrative offices, see how they uh, treat us in there and see if they respect our First Amendment right to record in public and publicly accessible places. Now it should be noted uh, Chillicothe, this is an interesting tidbit, Chillicothe was listed as one of the 15 best small towns to visit in America in 2022. Now pop in here. So here you go. This is the Chillicothe Visitors Bureau. Um, they do have a Chillicothe, Ohio mobile app, apparently. There you go. If you guys want to scan that little code right there, you can learn all you want about it. Hey, in case you're wondering how to scan one of these QR codes, if it's on your phone, take a screenshot of it. Then in most phones, you should be able to go into your photos and then click on it. You're welcome. They do have a, an event here every May that brings in about... 85,000 visitors. All right. I mean, assuming these are all the uh, old mayors. Oh, there you go, Margaret. This guy had a little skin condition up here. Don't judge him. A little bit of LIGO. It's human resources. Hey. You don't have a sign on your door. May I ask what office this is? What, are you in a department all of your own? Um, the nuisance officer. <laughs> nuisance officer. I'm not even sure what that is. Is that a, is that a real thing, really? No, I just made it up. Oh, gotcha. Okay, okay. I'm going to say, you know, I never know of small towns. I'm actually popping through here because Smithsonian Ant Magazine said that Chillicothe was one of the 15 best towns to visit in 2022. So I'm curious to see what it is about Chillicothe that makes this place so unique. Nothing back here. Nothing back there. All right, all right. Oh, we got a conference room. Is this is this the same as City Hall? Do you guys have a City Hall? Is this City Hall? Some uh, courts. Well, I mean, I don't know. When 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 the standard person thinks of City Hall, they think of things that I'm seeing in this office: auditors, tax assessors, things of that nature. So, yeah, this is considered the city administration building. If you're thinking of City Hall, mm -hmm. you would. Uh, well, yeah, this would be it. And you got the municipal court building down the street. That's yeah, about it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, all right. We got the auditor and tax income offices downstairs. I don't think there's anything exciting down here, but we'll pop down anyways. 
Chillicothe. All right. Ooh. All right. Income taxes back here. So, don't mind me. Hey, let me ask you a quick question. Though. What's the name of the, you guys have a big festival or something or other every year that I read online. It draws like 85,000 people. What is the name of that little thing? In May. Well, as I said, it's said every May. We have the, um, the Feast of the Flowering Moon. Is that what it is? Is it in May? It's in May. It's around um, Labor, or not Labor Day, Memorial Day weekend. Draws a big crowd? It draws a big crowd. I'm not quite sure if it's 85,000. That's got to be it. Did you know Smithsonian Magazine said that Chillicothe was one of the top 15 best small towns to visit in 2022. Yeah, I read that. Yes. Why? What? What is it about Chillicothe that makes people go, "Whoa, we got to add that to our list of 15 best towns to visit"? Because I live and work here. No, I'm just um, um, I don't. Know. I mean, it's got the small town charm. Am I the first fan that's come down here to 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 meet the infamous uh, tax window uh, folks here? I mean, <laughs> this is the, the so. What do you, you just collect income taxes in here for? For city income tax, yes. All right, all right, all right. Well, we're just popping in the city hall and looking around and heading out. Appreciate you. Oh, you're welcome. Have a great day. You too. There you go. Friendliest tax collector I think I've ever, I've ever met. Can you imagine if she was not friendly? A tax collector that's not friendly? Eesh. But that gal was very friendly. So I'm assuming again these are Chillicothe mayors. So this is it. I mean, if you're going to get a city hall, this is pretty much it. In and out. Well, oh, wait, wait. Let's stop and ask one thing. Hey. May I ask, other than this majestic theater down here, is there anything really cool within walking distance that one might be able to see in Chillicothe? Are you recording? I'm always recording. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. You don't want to... All right. What's your question, man? Well, I was just wondering if there was anything... What's your question? Anything interesting within walking distance of here other than the majestic theater that might be kind of cool to see around here? We have the information caboose right down in the park. How far is that? An information caboose? Caboose. All right. It's a historic, uh, kind of historic thing. They have historic documents. There's a pump house gallery. And that's, have... that's just right down this way. Okay. With I'm it... not sure what their hours are. But Two or three blocks? You walk straight down. If you walk straight down this street, you'll see it. It's a, it's a red caboose that sits on the street. Awesome. Who's the mayor right now? Luke Feeney's our mayor. Luke Feeney. Uh-huh. All right. There you go. Thank you, sir. All right. Good luck, man. All right, Mayor Luke Feeney, Chillicothe, Ohio. There's a mayor here currently. Now, this kids is what they used to call a pay phone and there used to be a phone right here and if you were in downtown Chillicothe and needed your mom to come pick you up, you would uh, call her collect. And when it said, please say your name at the beep, you would say, I'm in front of Kurt Realty, pick me up. And then your mom would pick you up and it wouldn't cost you anything. Or you could stick 25 cents in the phone and actually make a phone call. But who wants to waste a quarter when you could just tell your mom to come pick you up with the thing for free? Am I right? Oh, see, now this is the old, Chillicothe, Chillicothe, Chillicothe City Hall. I fear I'm somewhat mispronouncing that name occasionally. It's the old original City Hall for Chillicothe. Cool. 
You know, what I find interesting about these uh, things that are embossed over the, uh, or engraved, I guess, over the, the doors, I mean, that's, that is stonework. What I find interesting is that they have a period at the end of each one of them. Like, that's a full sentence. Sheriff, period. <laughs> Very unusual. I mean, it's, I've never seen it before. I'm, maybe it's not unusual, but I think it's unusual. There we go. Well, now this is interesting. The recorder doesn't get a period after his name or her name. And neither does the treasurer. But then the auditor, all of a sudden, they get one. Huh. Interesting. It's a little memorial to the uh, law enforcement officers that protect Ross County and its communities. Hmm. Pop in here and just see what's going down. And they restock their hot tamales. I was afraid of that. Low on hot tamales, and the ones that are in there are like six months old at least. Very disappointing. I'm a big, big uh, red hot tamale fan, and that disappoints me. <laughs> There's got to be a drinking fountain. Here we go. Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to go ahead and get into the shade, bro. No sense in. Oh, look at that. Grandpa Joe's Candy Shop. Presumably named after Grandpa Joe from Charlie and the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. You know, if you think about it, Grandpa Joe was actually kind of a kind of a scumbag. I mean, you think about it. The guy's laying in bed for God knows how many years. All of a sudden, Charlie gets a tour of the Chocolate Factory, and Grandpa Joe's jumping out of bed like, you know, like he's an Olympic athlete. Which tells me that Grandpa Joe was perfectly capable of jumping out of bed and being an athlete the whole time he was just milking charlie and the family for all they had i was talking about willy wonka and the chocolate factory go on in here Why is he up? we can pop in here let's ask him if we can record in here hello hello you mind if i take pictures in here uh, for, what? for my youtube account nothing nothing fancy i just like history yeah, this is, uh, I see a lot of miniatures in here. I just like to uh, show my friends cool history stuff and I, I never, this store kind of jumped out at me. The history store, is that what this is called? Yes. And is it just miniatures? What do you, what do you, I mean, may I ask what you specialize in? Is it, is it trains? Mm -hmm. This is a very unusual store. Okay. Just little miniatures, is it primarily like Civil War, Revolutionary War, is it all? It's all the, well, most of the complex. Very cool. And you got all the tanks and models and everything, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow, there you go. The history store. Love these. Check it out. May I ask, are you online anywhere? Might somebody be able to purchase virtually anything in your store online? What's your website address? There you go. Let me see what I got here. Oh, nice cards. Very nice. Are you Nathan? I am. Nathan Bear. Oh, there you go. Check it out. Thehistorystore.net. If you see anything here you like, hit them up. It's for sale. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. He's got all sorts of books in here. Uh, let me zoom in on this if I can. The realism on these guys. Look at their faces. Check that out. Look at this guy, he's dragging an injured dude. Whoa. So, if you heard that, they started about 48 bucks and go on up. Oh, check this out. Look at this. Look at that. A little German bunker here. Holy cow. Very cool. Very cool. That's the history store. That's the history store. Very cool stuff. Well, there you go. Let's see what this is.
Government Finance Officers Association. It looks like the good folks of Ross County, Ohio, have gotten certificates of achievement for excellence in financial reporting for like a million years in a row. At 90, 91, 92, 93, 4, 5, 8, 9, 9, I mean, it looks. What's the difference between a certificate of achievement for excellence in financial reporting and an award for outstanding achievement in popular annual financial reporting? Let me get the bottom of that. There's got to be a story behind that. There you go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Either they stop getting awards or they stop being financially excellent after 2011. I'm going to get to the bottom of that. <laughs> Did you guys stop getting rewards after 2011 for your financial uh, fiscal uh, responsibility? Or did you stop hanging the, the uh, plaques up? Do we know? Oh, I'm sorry. Is this? I don't want to step where I'm not supposed to be going. Do you know? I, I just, I, we're looking at the, all the plaques. And you got like 1990 all the way up. And then 2011 is the last one. I'm like, wait a second. No, they actually started giving these little, I'll show you. They started get. They stopped doing those, mm -hmm. and they actually started doing these. Oh, like little, oh, I see. Yes, yes. Much smarter, much cheaper for them. Okay, there you go. That answers that question, folks. They are still financially awesome in this office. I know what they're doing. I know what they're doing. Thank you. Oh, we forgot to ask them. Hey, can I ask you one other question here? I couldn't help but notice something outside as I was doing this little thing. We're doing a little story on the, on the city, trying to determine why the city did not get named Smithsonian Magazine's top 15 cities to visit in 2023. I think I figured out why. Outside of the building here, you've got these cool things that are like engraved in the building, right? You got treasurer and auditor and clerk and sheriff and probate judge. Those guys at Smithsonian, they're pretty anal retentive. I couldn't help but notice that after every single one of these, it has a period. It says sheriff, period. It's engraved in the, in the clerk, period. Auditor, period. Treasurer, no period. That's what cost you. 2023, Smithsonian Magazine's top small 15 small towns to visit. You guys add a period there? I think you stand a real chance for 2024. Oh, hey, wait, wait, let's see. Holy cow, no knitting needles. Perhaps. Just looking at the list of stuff. Holy cow, that's a big list of stuff. Thank God I left my knitting needles at home. There you go. You walk into uh, the courthouse. And I got this, check this out. Little handout on, uh, on the building, the history of the building. Some of the cool stuff they got in here. Chillicothe, Ohio. You can see all that. Yeah, very nice. See now, this is how you greet visitors when you come to a historic building. Uh, they didn't seem to have any problem with the camera. They give you a little, uh, a little hand, a little fly out here, uh, or rather a handout that uh, is both educational and, as you can see, functional in the humidity. You, you want to get some in here? Well, can I? That'd be awesome. Yeah, check this out. All right. We have that. We can go in this courtroom. Again, this is built in 1858. Is that right? Yeah, these are originally little gas. And you'll read about that in your Oh yeah, glass, uh, gas uh, lamps and light fixtures that were later converted to electric. Check this out, 1858 maybe. Beautiful. Oh, let's see. Love the ceiling. Love it. Love it. 
Any famous court cases in this place? Look at that chandelier. I would imagine that was probably put in in the 1850s, wasn't it? And so that's, that was original to the courthouse and that would have been piped in with natural gas and lit this place up. Wow, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Handicap accessible here. Very nice. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Oh. Yeah, well, yep. It's a neat courthouse. All right. That's it for the courthouse. Again, uh, Chillicothe was the capital of Ohio from 1803 to 1810. And then again from 1812 to 1816. it up for Chillicothe, Ohio. Finally got the pronunciation right at the very end of the audit. It's a very friendly little town. I'd highly recommend if you're in the area, swing by and see why Chillicothe, Ohio was listed as one of Smithsonian Magazine's top 15 small towns to visit in America. This has been Mike Norton with KULT News in Chillicothe, Ohio.